There is nothing outside of yourself, that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter, everything is within, everything exists, seek nothing outside of yourself. Think lightly of yourself, and deeply of the world. You must understand that, there is more than one path, to the top of the mountain. Do nothing, that is of no use. The ultimate aim of martial arts, is not having to use them. If you wish to control others, you must first control yourself. You can only fight the way, you practice. From one thing, know ten thousand things. It is difficult to understand the universe, if you only study one planet. Today is victory over yourself of yesterday, tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. Perceive, that which cannot be seen, with the eye. Get beyond love and grief, exist for the good of man. Do not regret, what you have done. In battle, if you make your opponent flinch, you have already won. All men are the same, except for their belief, in their own selves, regardless of what others may think of them. If you do not control the enemy, the enemy will control you. Do not sleep under a roof, carry no money or food, go alone to places frightening to the common brand of men, become a criminal of purpose, be put in jail, and extricate yourself by your own wisdom. If you know the way broadly, you will see it in everything. Perception is strong and sight weak, in strategy, it is important to see distant things as, if they were close and to take a distanced view of close things. You should not have any special fondness, for a particular weapon, or anything else, for that matter, too much is the same as not enough, without imitating anyone else, you should have as much weaponry as suits you. The only reason a warrior is alive is to fight, and the only reason a warrior fights is to win. Respect Buddha and the gods, without counting on their help. The important thing in strategy is, to suppress the enemy's useful actions, but allow his useless actions. The true science of martial arts means, practicing them in such a way that, they will be useful at any time, and to teach them in such a way, that they will be useful in all things. To become the enemy, See yourself as the enemy of the enemy. You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. Under the sword lifted high, there is hell making you tremble, but go ahead, and you have the land of bliss. Know your enemy, know his sword. When you decide to attack, keep calm and dash in quickly, forestalling the enemy, 
attack with a feeling of constantly crushing the enemy, from first to last. No man is invincible, and therefore no man can fully understand that, which would make him invincible. It is difficult to realize the true way, just through sword fencing, know the smallest things and the biggest things, the shallowest things and the deepest things. When in a fight to the death, one wants to employ all one's weapons to the utmost, I must say that, to die with one's sword still sheathed, is most regrettable. Polish your wisdom, learn public justice, distinguish between good and evil, study the ways of different arts one by one. It is said the warrior's is the twofold way of pen and sword, and he should have a taste for both ways, even if a man has no natural ability, he can be a warrior by sticking assiduously to both divisions of the way. A man cannot understand the art, he is studying, if he only looks for the end result without taking the time, to delve deeply into the reasoning of the study. Develop intuitive judgment, and understanding for everything. Whatever the way, the master of strategy does not appear fast. When your opponent is hurrying recklessly, you must act contrarily and keep calm, you must not be influenced by the opponent. Truth is not what you want it to be, it is what it is, and you must bend to its power or live a lie. A bullet from a gun does not make a distinction between practice and combat, you are training to be one, and the same way in your life. A thousand days of training to develop, ten thousand days of training to polish, you must examine all this well. Immature strategy is the cause of grief. You should not have a favorite weapon, to become over-familiar with one weapon, is as much a fault, as not knowing it sufficiently well. When you attack the enemy, your spirit must go to the extent of pulling the stakes out of a wall, and using them as spears and halberds. If you are not progressing along the true way, a slight twist in the mind can become a major twist, this must be pondered well. Nobody is strong, and nobody is weak, if he conceives of the body, from the head to the sole of the foot, as a unity in which a living mind circulates everywhere equally. Though you give up your life, do not give up your honor. In strategy, it is important to see distant things, as if they were close, and to take a distanced view of close things. It may seem difficult at first, but all things are difficult at first. This is a truth, when you sacrifice your life, you must make fullest use of your weaponry, it is false not to do so, and to die with a weapon yet undrawn. In strategy, it is necessary to treat training, as part of normal life with your spirit unchanging. The sword has to be more than a simple weapon, it has to be an answer to life's questions. 
Generally speaking, the way of the warrior, is resolute acceptance of death. It is necessary to know ten thousand things, by knowing one well, if you are to practice the way of strategy, nothing must escape your eyes, 54 reflect well on this.